Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Aries. Hope you guys are all well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. Hope you guys are hanging in there. I know a lot of you are still in full lockdown. Some of you, you can get out and about. Dating's a little hard, but uh, to keep your spirits up, let's have a boo here, all right, and see who's coming towards you for love. Who is your next love prospect? This is great for those of you who are single, looking for someone new, all right. Some of you are walking away from something, you've had enough, you're moving on, okay. So who's coming towards Aries for love? Who's Aries' next new love prospect? New love connections, new dating all right, new partners, new relationships for Aries. Who's coming in towards Aries for love? Who is Aries' next love prospect? Aries. Aries' next love prospect. There we go. Yeah, some of you are, are rejecting somebody, all right, or you're not accepting any offers from a particular person or a lot of people. Yeah, some of you are ready for success. You're ready to move on here. You're getting keeping your emotions under control. Some of you have been kind of blocked emotionally, uh, rejecting other people, not really accepting any offers, but you're ready for success. You're ready to move on. You're taking charge of a situation here. <laughs> all right, Aries. Yes. Yes, four of wands. You got to possibly have somebody that is watching you. This whoever this is you're walking away from might be holding on to you. Okay, they could be watching you from a distance, holding on, looking at the details. All right, could be someone who rejected you as well. They might have been keeping their emotions in check, but they're holding on. They're looking at the details. Some of you are definitely going to be very careful about who you move towards okay you may be rejecting a lot of people the offers aren't good enough you're just not into them they're not your type so you're going to be looking at the details you're going to be a lot more practical and a lot more grounded you're going to be protecting yourself a lot more all right being a little more stubborn this time <laughs> How about who you pick? Yeah, so you're going to be careful who you work on. You don't want to put any more effort into anybody who's just not right. There you are, Aries, taking control, being the king of wands. You literally actually could have uh, king of wands energy coming towards you. Yeah, you could have a cancer with Aries Leo Sag in their chart, wanting to work things out, wanting to move towards you. Could be somebody you worked with. You have a could be a boss person. Some of you it could be an, uh, someone you worked with or an old boss headed your way. They could be watching you from a distance, looking at the details, thinking about coming in and putting some effort into a relationship. But I can see a lot of you are taking control. You're not, uh, you don't want to work things out with somebody. The more you look at the details, the more you don't want to work on someone from the past. And that's a good energy. Some of you are just done. Yeah, you're, look at that. You're getting a lot of attention. Some of you may have several people coming towards you here. This could be a few different people because I do see this is a lot of times will show up as a cancer person. Yeah, weighing the pros and the cons. You may have two people coming towards you. Not sure who. You may have to reject one and go towards the other. Yeah, because you want success. Whatever it is, you've got control. Wow, you're in complete control here. Yeah, look at that. You've got two people. You're going to be cutting one person out. To go towards that person that you feel that special connection. Really nice. So it could, you could have a Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sag. Maybe even a Scorpio or a Cancer energy here. Lovely. Let's grab the cards and see. What the heck is going on? Yeah, you're going to have some success. You're taking control of your love life. Whoever comes towards you. All right. Yeah, yeah I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're going to get a lot of attention. I feel like your ships have come in. You've got a choice. So let's see. There's somebody from the past that's holding on to you. Okay, very much so. But I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest. I think they kind of give you the ick factor. Like they're just not right for you. You don't want to put any work into it. You're staying very much in control. You're being very passionate about your love life. Okay, I, I feel like this is could be another person. like Or everybody that's coming towards you has some of this fire in your chart. So you might be button heads with somebody okay but someone's getting cut out where you got and you have somebody else too you're cutting one out but you have somebody coming towards you that wants to have success uh, they want to speak a truth about this bond this connection with you somebody here may actually be a, in love with you already or you know be really ready to move towards that interesting tell me about the four 
Yeah. There's definitely one person you're not into. Yeah, there's somebody here that you don't really, uh, yeah, you're not really into. Uh, there's something about this person. Okay, you may have a past person your chart you're moving away from because you want something more successful. Whoever it was didn't was probably juggling, okay? Somebody you're moving away from that juggled. So you're off on your own here. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, you've got somebody here that's coming in to take control. Somebody very successful. Yeah, that's what you want, right? I can see that. And there's someone here that's watching you from a distance. You can see with this card. Kind of keeping an eye on you, looking at the details, all right, being practical, realistic, grounded, looking into the future. Yeah, somebody kind of sees the future with you. They may be a, a business owner, entrepreneur, okay, definitely financially stable. This person does work a lot, okay. Yeah, they're, oh, they're, for, oh, this person's worried you're going to reject them. Yeah, they might be a little bit worried you're going to reject them. So there are ways in the, pro the pros and the cons of coming in to speak the truth. They could be somebody you worked with in the past, like I said, or even a boss. Somebody who really liked you. Uh, I feel like they watched you from a distance. They've been really looking at, you know, who you are kind of energy. Yeah, they hold on to you. They want this passion at New Beginning. They find you. The more they look at you, the more they see you very attractive. You see that? Look at this. Aries, who have you got out there watching you? See, you can see that person in the back at the end of that pillar watching, really admiring, looking at all the details. This person, somebody's checking you out pretty thoroughly, or they did when you worked with them. <laughs> They're thinking of coming in. They may actually, uh, you may work with this person now. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're ready. Look at that. Yeah, you're ready to go off on a new path here. I feel like you're ready to take a risk. You're ready to put some effort into it. Some of you, this could be a new job. You could actually get a new job, okay? And you may meet this person on a new job sometime in the future. It could be happening already and you're not even aware. It could be your boss. Somebody who might... Um, you could be equals, like with this King of Wands in the middle. Like you may uh, work in the same, do the same job. Uh, very hard working, very passionate, very determined. They see you that way. Lovely. This person sees you in the future. They're holding on. Someone's definitely, uh, somebody may have held back and they weren't sure. Maybe they thought you were going to reject them. And I have a funny feeling. <laughs> They have been holding on here. They they really do. They've been examining. Do I see Aries in my future? I don't I think you're going to take a risk here. I think you're going to do this with this person. They could be an Aries as well or have it in their chart. Oh, Aries, what is this King of Wands energy? I feel like you whoever it is, you got a couple people. I feel there's two. One one is definitely very, actually, I think you all have fire in your chart. It's right in the heart, fiery. And this is your energy big time, though. You're very much in control. You know what you want. You're holding out for the best. You're looking out there. Yep, very stable. Uh, so there's somebody here who's very financially stable, very hardworking. And I feel like they, someone you worked with, or they, you're going to have a new job and you're going to get financial stability. You're going to be working really hard. Some of you, definitely a new job is coming in. That's going to bring you financial security, but it is going to require a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, stamina and dedication. Okay. Yeah, you've got competition. There's people going to be competing with you. Uh-huh. Oh, I see what's going on here, too. Like, you may work with this person. You may be fairly competitive. Okay. Um, and you're both going to try to outdo each other to be bring in the most money, that kind of an energy as well. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, and you've got competition. You've got other people. You've got a choice between two. You're definitely going to have to make a decision, and you're going to have success. But I also feel like this other person, yeah, you're going to feel a little bit bad here. you got to make a choice, and it's going to make you feel bad. I feel like you've had a tough time. Definitely, you've had a tough time in love, but you're definitely ready for something new. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, if you have that in your chart. If not, you have somebody coming towards you. You could have one ex coming, one new person, somebody who uh, wants forgiveness, wants to speak the truth. Okay, but I feel mostly, yeah, look at that. There's your confirmation. You're going to cut one person out, and there is somebody else coming in to speak a truth. 
You know, this is an energy of somebody wants balance. They want to make sure there's balance in a relationship, loving and nurturing. And I feel like it's you. You want to make sure whoever you choose knows how to be caring, loving, and nurturing. Beautiful. Tell me about the two, or the two. <laughs> oh, Aries, what are you doing to my head? The lovers. Why is the lovers here? What is this lovers card here for? There's a bond, a connection. There's love here. You want somebody who's going to reciprocate that you want you want balance in your love life so it's a choice between two and it's i feel like it's going to be a bit of an uphill battle it's going to be a tough decision uh, you're going to have to really work this out yeah so there's somebody here who um you do have somebody who wants to speak a truth who never told you how they felt about you before someone that held back yeah this is somebody who's been holding back watching you from a distance admiring you from a distance uh, they do see that you possibly have competition. There may be, you know, you know they may have to compete against other people. Uh, I feel like they're ready to come in and fight for this, to put the work in. You, If you're getting a new job in the future, this is where you're probably going to meet this person. Or they are, you went off to work somewhere else where you made more money, and this person's still holding on to you from your old workplace. So they may be reaching out to come and talk to you, to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> yeah. This is somebody who never told you. They never told you that they were admire you. There you are. Yeah, they thought you were very sexy, very attractive. Oh my goodness, Aries, what have you got going on? Wow. Yeah, you're very focused. And I think, too, they see that you're very focused. You're very hardworking. Uh, you're very skilled. You take very uh, good care of yourself, your money. You're very creative. Oh my goodness. What else does this person want to tell Aries? What else does this person want to tell Aries? They are financially stable, but they're scared you're going to reject them for some reason. Or it could be somebody who didn't accept an offer from you. I mean, it could have been a simple thing as you want to go for lunch if you worked with them, or can I get you coffee? And somehow they may have been very busy that day. They may have, this could be definitely your boss, somebody who was in charge. Okay. Um, you might have felt kind of rejected if you were, you know, that kind of thing. I don't feel like it's anything big, but more than anything, I feel they are worried about you rejecting them. Yeah, there was an offer. So somewhat kind of offer was made. They're wor yeah, they're worried you're going to reject this offer. It is practical. It's reliable. It's grounded. It's solid. This person actually feels they could have stability with you, that you could work together very well. Yeah, you may have been, if you worked with this person, for those of you... When you look back at this, <laughs> were you competitive with this person in the workplace and you worked really hard competing, but it was fun? Okay, it was fun. Well, this person likes that. They've looked in the future. They love that energy about you. You're very passionate, very hardworking, and you don't give up. And they're like that too. I feel like, and I do, like I said, I think you got two people with very similar energy. Uh, one of them definitely could be someone from the past who doesn't want to let you go, and they may want a new beginning, but they also know you're probably going to reject them. They could be a Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In fact, they all could have fire and earth in their chart in different places. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Oh, King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's ready for love. They want this new beginning with you. Wow. Wow, Aries. All right, tell me about this. Tell me about the beginning. Here we go. Yeah, you're single. So yeah, you're you're single. You're ready to go. You don't have anybody. You've, you're cutting somebody out. You're making yourself single and you're ready to put the work into something new. And I feel like this person is single too. This is somebody who holds you in high regard. They see you having everything they want. You take care of yourself. Yeah, they, they really admire you. And I feel they've been watching you a lot from the distance. So tell me about this. Um, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. There we go. Oops, too many. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Just one, please. Not a chunk. Just one Ten of Pentacles. There we go. Ah, look at that, King of Wands. There you go. Yeah, so there's someone who's very hardworking, financially stable. They want something stable. They're ready to put the effort and the hard work into it with you. you got a couple people. You might even have three. You're definitely rejecting somebody that's from your past that's holding on. You're ready for something new. You're making yourself single. And you got, yeah, you're, and you're going to control this. I, I do feel like you're, some of you are, it's an, a new job is about to happen as well. Or there's a new job to do with this. 
It really feels like that for some of you. Who are these competitors here? Tell me about the five of staves. There we go. Oh, there's that cancer. Yeah. So you're going to leave somebody behind. Somebody else is swooping in and going to take control. Okay. You're very much in control of your love life. You got competition. You're ready for the challenge. You're ready to go. Whoever it is that's coming towards you is the same energy. Yeah. <laughs> Queen of Cups. There we go. Yeah, ready to work. So somebody's gone within, like this is you. Love's been an uphill battle. So you definitely really want to make sure you have success. You're cutting out anyone who doesn't put the effort in. And you've learned this, okay? You're cutting out anybody. And you're going to have success. Because you're cutting out that the, the past and moving towards the future, that's where it comes. But there is that person. Tell me about this prince. Tell me about the prince. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this person's tempted. <laughs> they're so tempted to come in and tell you how they feel. So I feel like they, they're not quite ready. You're going to be very tempted. You're going to focus on this person a bit. You want to make sure they're focused on you in the right way. You want to make sure they're not focused on you just for the passion. Okay, so they are going to tempt you, but that doesn't mean you're not going to go for it. So tell me about the Queen of Staves. What's going on with the Queen of Staves? Why is the Queen of Staves here? Aries energy. Queen of Staves. Just one. Just one, please. Why is the Queen of Staves? Here we go. Yes. You're holding yourself in high regard. Yeah, you're going to make sure that anyone who comes towards you holds you in high regard, that they you get your hopes and dreams. Someone sees you this way. You're going to be really tempted because they're going to put you on a pedestal. They've never told you how they felt. They never told you they felt they could have this connection or... If you worked with them for a while, maybe even a long time, they were probably in love with you and never said a thing. They're so tempted to just come in and tell you. Ah, yeah. Some of you are holding yourself in high regard. You've learned from your past to make sure anyone comes in, they put the effort in, okay? And that there's balance. Like watching for that balance to make sure they're loving and nurturing. That the passion and the emotion is balanced, okay? They don't just come for the passion. Yes, you're going to be very discerning. Yeah, you're going to cut anybody out. <laughs> you're very clear now. You've learned from your past. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, you're you're doing good. You're ready to focus on love. Uh, and you'll focus on somebody who will treat you properly. Then you will put your effort and energy into that kind of a person. So there is going to be a lot of communication. Okay, back and forth. You're very tempted, but you're holding back. You're going to make sure you're very discerning first. You're not going to just jump into it as much as you want to. Okay? You're holding yourself in high regard here again. You're going to stay single. You're ready for the new beginning. You're going to put some work into it. But you're going to stay single until that you see that this person puts the effort in because you've learned. I love this. Very nice. Yep, moving forward. This person's likely going to want to come and see you. Things will keep moving. You'll keep communicating. You want to make sure this person's putting some passion and energy into it, that they keep the communication flowing. That's the stuff you'll be watching for first. Nice. So they are headed your way. They may come and meet you. You may hook up, talk about hooking up somewhere. I know social distancing, you know, I get it. People keep commenting and saying that we can't do anything, but... In, in about 70% of the world, people can go out as long as they stay a distance apart, okay? And to be honest, there's a lot of people who are just doing whatever they want. And we, I think we're all aware of that, okay? It depends where you live. Where I live, everybody's out and about shopping. Things are all opening up, and it's never really completely shut down. We haven't been under lock and key in a lot of places. I know it's harder in others, but be patient. This will come eventually. I, I really see you guys definitely rejecting any offers where if anybody who doesn't uh, come towards you and hold you in high regard, you will not take a risk unless they start putting some effort that you see them putting the work in, okay? You want that king of wands. You want someone who fights for you. You want that perfect person, that bond, that connection, okay? Yeah, this person definitely feels that. Wow. So, yeah, you want someone who reciprocates equally, right? Making sure they do, that they're not just focused on the passion. So you're going to just keep focusing on yourself, doing your thing. But, you know, you will you will reciprocate, all right, as long as they do. But you're going to hold back and share some of, keep some of that focus to yourself until you make sure, okay, that this is moving towards success. So let me just pull a couple of um, 
I want to pull another couple cards just to dig into this person a little bit more. Here we go. Who is this person? Who is this lovely person coming towards Aries, the new person? Who is this? Yeah, you're really being clever, really, really clever. Yeah, you're going to definitely move away. I feel like the person that's coming in has got earth fire and pro they probably got cancer or something in their chart. Not necessarily, but they're going to come in and take control because they're up for this challenge. They're coming in to fight for you, and that's what you want, right? You want someone who puts the effort in. Of course, it's got to be reciprocated, but don't lose your balance. Don't give too much. It's saying keep some of this focus for yourself, your job, your career. Make sure, right? Don't don't be overly generous. Think about that. If, you were, if you're one of these people, and I know Aries can be so generous and so giving and put a lot of effort into the relationships when you meet somebody to only find out that they don't do anything back. So this is what it's telling you. You've learned from your past. It's telling you to remember that. Be discerning. You are going to be tempted, and that's wonderful. They're a this person's a big temptation. But you need to make sure they're focused on you for the right reason. I feel like they do. I feel like this person is balancing that. I really, really do. I think they're financially stable. I think they're a hard worker. I think they have a lot of uh, similar qualities to you. I feel like you're probably going to have a really good uh, mix here. There we go. New life. There you go, Aries. These cards just want to come out in chunks. Yeah, Ch change in the wind. Yeah, there's something changing. You're having something new is about to begin. You're ready for this change. I feel like you you were going to make sure before you go on this path, like you're ready to do it. Hold yourself in high regard. Keep yourself in that single mode until this person comes in and puts the work in. And uh, there's something coming. Wow. Tell me about this change in love. Who's coming towards Aries in love? One last time we'll ask. Oh, options. you got your options open. <laughs> you have some options. Some of you are changing your options. Yeah, you're rejecting an offer from one person. Yep, you just don't. They worry you. They stress you. Uh, you may have been rejected in the past as well from someone. So you're like, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to go. You know, I'm getting myself in control here. It's taking off in another direction. Literally, some of you hop in your car. You know, there may be someone, you may go see someone, offer them something, they may reject you or make you feel bad, or they might be stubborn, okay? But I think with a lot of you, you're, you're definitely not accepting offers from some people. Uh, and I feel like somebody just kind of, I, I get this like, you just ick, right? There's just a, a the chemistry's not right with somebody, okay? You may be tempted by that person, but no, you're waiting for this person up here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this King of Pentacles. This is the one I'm curious about. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. What's this person's intentions? There we go. Oh, this person's ready. They want teamwork, cooperation, compromise. You have things in common. Yeah, you both could be self-employed or something too. Starting something new. You may work together and start something new together. Okay, yeah, you have things in common. Uh, this person's a team player. That's what they want. So... There you go, Aries. Lovely little bonus reading. Something to look forward to. Just remember, you got one person that's tempting you. Make sure you, this is always what I say when I see this prince. His sword is down. He doesn't always speak. Doesn't mean he's lying. He just doesn't tell you everything. So it's what they're not telling you is what you want to be discerning about. All right. Learning from the past. So don't be, you know, if you're tempted by somebody who doesn't come in and, and you feel like they're holding back and they're not telling you something because you got twice, you got two people, one person you're going to have success with, one person you're cutting out. That's only a, a temptation. Sorry about that. I had to do a quick pause. Somebody decided to give me a call. I thought I had my phone turned off. My bad. All right. Yeah. So there is movement here. Things are moving. You're going to move towards the person that communicates clearly with you, that holds you in high regard, someone that you're, will fulfill your hopes and dreams. So very nice. You know exactly. You're going to be very discerning. You've learned and you know you're very smart. Okay. Uh, it's like you've completely leveled up, and uh, it's like you're not afraid to be single either. You, you've got everything you need, and I feel like you're not afraid to 
uh, stay like that till the right person comes in. But there's change coming, changing your options. Yeah, there's some possibilities here, definitely. You may see the possibilities with this person from the past. Maybe you rejected them in the past and they've been holding on to you, this person that you worked with, okay? So very interesting. All right, Aries, take care of yourselves. Hope this works out for you. Be patient, all right? And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.